it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been happening a lot because people are like, yeah, I mean, you got to treat me like a normal person. <laughs> I'm famous. Mr. Marmite. Did you love it or hate it? <laughs> Um, uh, what, what moment did you? <laughs> I think you should. We should just end it there. Yeah, that's my problem. I always peak too early. Um, what advice would you give to your younger self? I don't think my younger self. Would yes, listen. exactly. Yes. Yeah. No matter what I said. <laughs> now listen. Best thing about being famous from both of you, please. Oh God! Wow. Best thing about fam being famous, I suppose. It's interesting cause during lockdown. I also have this sort of like fantasy because, you know, when I go to the DMV or I go to somewhere, I kind of get this little Q jump thing, which is like, like, the, or like going to get sort out a lot my license or something like that. Okay. I get a bit of preferential treatment, which is very nice. It's one of the best things about being, I've said that now, it's not going to happen again, is it? <laughs> but funnily during lockdown, of course, we all had to wear masks. Did you do a little? Well, I didn't, but I just thought, you know, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Must have been happening a lot, because people are like, yeah, I mean, you've got to treat me like a normal person. <laughs> I'm famous. <laughs> I didn't do that, but I just was like, so you know. <laughs> so you said you're not famous, mm -hmm. which is a lie, because people know your name. <laughs> but would you say there's a big difference between fame and su success, and which would you prefer? Fame and success? Uh, well, I mean, I, yeah, no, look, I mean, I think success is just... Is, is doing what you want to do for a living, doing what you love for a living. That's and right. I, mean, I think we yeah. both feel mm. tremendously lucky we get to do that. And look, any anybody who gets to do that in life, no matter what it is, that's that's the best you can hope for. But you prefer to jump in the queue? No, he likes me, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I, just, I just literally go for the ephemera and all of this. <laughs> just the, all, the shit. shallowest shit Free you can think of shit. I'm good with. Yeah. That's me. That's just me. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. And what do you think the worst thing is that comes with uh, the name? I mean, without getting too deep about it, I suppose this lack of privacy that can be kind of like that sort of stops, stops you sort of, you know, whatever. I like I can't go and sit in a pub and get drunk. Yeah, I mean you can if you want to go pub afterwards. Then we can, we can yes. go and yeah. give it a go. I'll play your bodyguard at the same time. It'll be no, fun. I'm, I'm, it'll be good. Um, You're gonna be for, Vulcan ha handshaking all round. I'll then. be doing the Vulcan <laughs> death grip thing on the shoulder. Oh, no, exactly. Put them out. That's yeah. the way they do it. What was your first paid gig? <laughs> Uh, Without my, getting too personal. Yeah. My first job in acting. In, you mean like being yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, well, or, or, or just, or in just like in like for well, doing I, what you do. In high school, I, I worked in a movie theater, uh, and mm. the very the very first day, the manager came up to me, very first day on the job, with a broom and a bucket, and he said, "Some guy just took a dump on the floor of the bathroom upstairs," and he handed it to me and said, "Welcome to show business." <laughs> You've never looked job, back, have never you? Never looked back, and no. <laughs> still doing basically the same job, just. Cleaning up. Cleaning up other shit. people's shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a living. It's a living. Yeah. I'll take it. Beats, mm. re beats real work. Mr. Marmite. <laughs> that was my first, first paid gig. Really? Mr. Marmite? Mr. Marmite. Mm. Did you love it or hate it? Yeah. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what, what moment did you? <laughs> I think you should. We should just end it there because yeah. I don't think Not it's going to get any it. better Not than that. <laughs> That's my problem. I always peak too early. Yeah. Um, yeah. At what point did you know you were on the right career path? Are we? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, mean, so I don't. Waiting I, for yeah, waiting. I don't know. Yeah, waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like going. I'm always a bit like kind of someone's going to turn around and go. Bluff. I'm like, yeah. oh, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, I gave it a good go. The knock's gonna come uh, yeah, at the door. Yeah, yeah um, again. Drag us I don't out. know. I mean, it's it's a it's a. There's a hard one to kind of like you, you're making a living. A lot of actors just don't make a living out of this um, business. It's just too hard. And it's like you know you think. I mean, I just had a thing when I left drama school, which was just that if I start, go, I, I I was a waiter for years and years and years. I said if I go back to being a waiter, I've got to go, go and try to do something else because it means I'm not earning a living. So I just. I mean, somehow I managed to earn a living. So, what would you say has been your worst paid gig? Huh. Uh, Don't have to answer it if it's too uncomfortable to throw people <laughs> under the bus. But um, Mr. Marmite, Mr. Marmite. All right, All right. right. so you hated it then? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, cleaning the shit yeah. off the floor of the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's so like, yeah. all uphill from there. Yeah. So thank God, it's been nothing but this since then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's called the Grand Slam. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't end up here, what other job would you ideally have? Oh. I think I'd be working with children. 
<laughs> no, it's a spinal tap game. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pull them out of my yeah, ass. Right. <laughs> what would you have done? I don't know. Geez, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, I mean, we, you know, this is like the previous question. It's kind of like I, I, I knew what I wanted to do before I even knew it was really a career that I could do. So whatever I was doing for a living, I'd hope I'd be enjoying it, but I'd probably also still be making movies with my friends on the weekends with my phone, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't know. Yeah. What would you say has been the most challenging part of your careers? <laughs> I mean, I I mean, it's 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 trying to stay fresh, trying to stay um, excited about it. That's not hard to stay excited about it, but making sure that the jobs you do, or trying to make sure the jobs you do are challenging and um, working with the right people. Um, mm -hmm. A famous director I worked with called, um, said to me once, you know, just don't work with assholes. Yes. And that's the challenge. <laughs> Off at the back of that. I mean, I got Ryan, but anyway, that's yeah, yeah. Other, than that, though, <laughs> other than Ryan. Other than I mean, that, right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, batting yeah. average. Um, yeah. With this film getting a cinema release, but then coming out on Netflix, I think this ties in quite nicely. Uh, do you mind how your work is now consumed? With obviously, there's so many different ways to consume media mm -hmm. in this day and age. How do you feel about that? I, know, I think any way people want to watch it, I hope they want, you know. But, I mean, last night, for example, being in that huge crowd and feeling the crowd reaction to it, I think that's why both of us were very keen on having it have a presence in the theaters, you know. Um, mm -hmm. And the thing is, I got great memories, though, of, like, with the old Agatha Christie movies, sitting Watching around the, on the TV, TV. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. the family, you know. Yeah. So that's great, too. But um, yeah. just don't watch it on your, like, your Apple Watch or something. And I'm, I'm fine, as long as it's a phone. Yeah. Can you watch it on your Apple Watch? I pr probably. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> if not, you, you soon will be able to. Probably, yeah, right? yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, 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 on your thing. Google Glass. Please don't. Yeah. If you could pick one person to work with and you can't say each other, who would it be? That you haven't worked with. I haven't worked with them. You got one? I don't know. Um, Pope. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was going with Genghis Khan, Genghis but I was Khan. like, yeah, love to work with Genghis Khan. In what and, setting? In movie setting or just out at war? Just know him, Genghis Khan. Yeah, yeah it would have just a couple of days of, of, day, of, play um, day, day play work with him or something, I don't know. And perform a little Shakespeare uh, for him in the field. I, I don't know. Just, I feel like we'd. Like in jail. <laughs> That'd be a performance of your life, quite literally, because if he didn't yeah, like yeah, it... Yeah, it's all gone. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, there'd be some excitement. <laughs> um, what advice would you give to your younger self? Yeah, uh, I, d I, d I don't think it would be much point, because I don't think my younger self would yes, listen. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. No matter what I said. <laughs> now listen. <laughs> it'd be like, it'd be like, I mean, I just would have been like anybody else. I don't, you know. I, don't, I wouldn't want to go back. I know that. Yes, mm. yes, hundred yeah. percent. Mm. I thought about that recently with that mm. paper girls on Amazon, where they go back, they oh, go into yeah. the future. Oh, she meets right, her past yeah. self, and yeah. I'm like, I would have ended up fighting my past self, hundred percent. There's yeah. no, yeah. no yeah. way, yeah. and he would have lost, and then I would feel bad about it as my older <laughs> self. <laughs> but you know, some yeah. some lessons I needed to learn the hard way. Yeah. Um, is there a dream role on your, your radar and a dream story you'd like to tell? It's the next one, you know. Mm. I mean, that's the I don't. It's a, I think the most exciting thing creatively to you should be the thing that you do next. So yeah. I think follow your nose, I think, you know, mm. yeah. Mm, I like that. It's yeah. Very Gandalf. So. I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, is it difficult not to take criticism personally? Obviously we live in an era where everyone can have an opinion on it and be so loud about it online. Mm. How do you deal with that? Well, um, you deal with it quite well by, by staying not, offline. By not reading it. <laughs> um, just try and stay away from it. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. I mean, I've been through stuff. You've been through a lot of stuff. It's um, you've got to kind of uh, you've got to get hardened to it, but also not take it. Try and not take it seriously. It, um, hmm. Listen, if you don't want to succeed in life, I mean, if you don't like reviews, what's the what's the what is the great adage? And I can't remember it now. Mm. If you don't like reviews, don't bother. You know, don't you know? I right. mean, if you don't like criticism, don't bother because it's um, that just comes with the territory. I always like to mm. think about when I come out of the movie theater with a group of friends, and it's a movie I love, and then inevitably a few of my friends in the group will be saying mm. how it's absolute crap, yeah. and, and I'll disagree, and just remembering that. So that's what it is. Yeah, five, five that, people. Yeah, completely. That's so a group like, of five yeah. people. It's yeah, a sampling, yeah. and it's yeah, just yeah. so. Um, but yeah. no, it's it's hard not to take it personally, but it's also. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, it's you just kind of 
yeah, you figure out how to deal with it. Do you believe the good ones? I always believe, believe the, the bad, bad ones. ones. Just yeah. believe the bad ones, yeah. yeah. Lastly, what's been your funniest interaction with anybody in the industry? Oh, right now, this is it. That's happening right now, the past 10 minutes. That's what I was going for. I got to top this, man. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Well, we finished a little bit earlier. I won't take up any more of your time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, this was fun. Thank you. Really appreciate it. And, you know, live long and prosper. Look at that.